Good morning, or actually, good afternoon. Um, I have to be at work a little later today, so, you know, I, I got up just now. It's about 1 o'clock where I am. Anyway, good afternoon. It's Wednesday, and I wanted to share something with you really quick. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to try to keep this a little short. Okay, Wednesday... I thought this was an appropriate day to cover this topic because Wednesday is ruled by Mercury and <laughs> speaking of Mercury we're still in that damn retrograde that's been kicking everybody's ass so two nights ago I decided that I have had enough with the retrograde for some reason in the past um, I know there have been other retrogrades but this one is the first one that I that I ever recall or recognize as really affecting me. I don't remember any of the past retrogrades really, really rocking my world like this one has been. So I decided, all right, I need to do something. I went to my spice rack and I grabbed a bunch of herbs, certain ones I chose for certain um, purposes. I put them in my mortar and pestle in fairly equal amounts. I didn't measure anything out, just fairly equal amounts. And I ground them up. And I made my own anti-retrograde powder. This powder can be burned as incense, sprinkled over candles. You can infuse it into water to, to add to a bath or to pour over your head as a final rinse in the shower. You can add it to poppets. Um, or dolls, you can add it to bags, bottles, whatever you can use. It's very versatile and I'm just going to show you right now really quick what did I put in my anti-retrograde powder and just to tell you before I even get into it the first night that I made this I burned it over charcoal in my bedroom and then I went to sleep the next day, okay, things weren't perfect. There were still like stupid little things that went wrong, but not nearly as many as I was facing before I made the powder. And last night I burned some again, and I also sprinkled some over a votive that I fixed for fighting against this retrograde influence. And again, <coughs> things are not perfect. But, so far, so good. Knock wood. Um, so I want to share this with you, because maybe you can try making this or similar. And maybe if we use this, like, all up until the 25th, which is as long as this stupid retrograde is supposed to last, maybe this powder can help us to kind of get through this tough time without our asses being so kicked by this retrograde. All right, so the first thing I grabbed for my retrograde powder, Himalayan sea salt. I chose this because it's a very pure salt, and I wanted a cleansing quality. I wanted um, the purity of the salt to ward off any kind of negative influences. You know what I mean? So I, I used... Himalayan salt as one of my ingredients. I wanted that that cleansing, that purity, that like purging kind of of BS kind of quality because it's salt is very good in that respect. So salt. I used some French blue lavender for calm, peace, um, just harmony. Um, I wanted this just just to ease up, you know, that that frustrated kind of feeling. I wanted excuse me, I wanted this for the purpose of smoothing things out. 
So we got Himalayan sea salt, we got lavender. I also added bay leaves. Bay leaves I added for two reasons. The first being that it keeps evil at bay. Um, and then the second is that bay leaves have a sort of cloaking quality. They almost like hide you. You can use bay leaves to hide works. So, or, or you can even use it just to, so evil kind of overlooks you, forgets you. So I added some bay leaves. The next thing I added was oregano. Oregano is another cloaking sort of herb. I wanted to cloak myself from the celestial influence, you know, kind of hide from it. Like, ha ha, can't see me, can't catch me kind of sort of sentiment. Um, oregano is often used in law keep away works, but it can be used in other works in which you want to be sort of like invisible. So, I thought, I, being that this has a cloaking quality as well, I wanted to use this along with the bay together to kind of shield me, cloak me, you know, hide me from that celestial interference. The next thing I used was nutmeg, because nutmeg helps to turn the odds of things into your favor. And God knows at this time we can all use things going in our favor. Two, three, four, five. And now I added two final things that I'm going to show you substitutes if you can't get these. Um, the first thing I used was this, this powder. It can be used as incense. It could be sprinkled over candles. It's Hyjon powder. This is very versatile. It smells very wonderful. I got this from my friend Siren. Um, I use High John powder, and you can use um, powdered High John root if you can get that. Um, I use this because High John is good for getting out of sticky situations. It's good for coming up with creative solutions. It's good for, you know, conquering over negativity or obstacles. It's a very good herb for these kind of things. This is kind of like your uh, get out of BS free herb. You know what I mean? It, it kind of helps you get out of like those sticky situations. If you can't get High John, um, I recommend substituting Allspice because Allspice is a success herb. It's a conquering herb like you're always going to come out on top with allspice. So if you can't get the high John powder or something like that, allspice. And then the last thing I used, oh, and alternately, if you don't have allspice for some strange reason, you can put cinnamon in there. Cinnamon, one, some of its things that it does is it brings fast luck, among other things. And it, it kind of like turns your luck around. So if you can't, I, I mean, I like allspice better personally than cinnamon. I think allspice is better suited as a substitute than cinnamon. But if you really can't get the high John powder and you really don't have the allspice, go with cinnamon. Um, so there's that. And then the last thing I used was, again, another powder that can be burnt as incense or sprinkled on candles or whatever. This is protection. And if you don't have the protection powder or anything similar to protection powder, I recommend ginger because ginger has a fiery quality to it that is sort of protective. It's often added to fiery wall of protection powders. Um, so yeah, if you can't get the protection, get the ginger. And don't worry because you have things like salt and you have like bay. So like you have that sanctification in there. The ginger adds that fiery quality, that fiery protective quality. That's, I mean, it's good for other things too, but among other things, it's good for that fiery protection. So this is what I put in my mortar and pestle in fairly equal amounts. I'm going to recap real quick what I put in one by one. 
and then I'm gonna let you guys go because I really have to like you know hop in the shower get ready for my day whatever but I really recommend that you try making this powder I ground mine all up into a fine powder I put it into a little Ziploc baggie I marked it anti-retrograde and I use it for a lot of things I even sprinkled some in my car so I don't have any like issues while I'm driving to and from work or like while I'm out and about and I even put some I sprinkled a little in my pocket so that as I walked around at work and like wherever else I was like it's with me all the time you know and you could just refresh that you know whenever you need to so yes let me recap Himalayan pink salt I used French blue lavender but you can use any kind of lavender bay leaves nutmeg, oregano, high john, alternates to high john being allspice, or failing that, cinnamon. And finally, protection powder, and an alternate to the protection powder being, oops, ginger. Now, the reason why I told you what I use all these for, like what their qualities are in this, in this working, in this um, mixture, is because, let's say you don't have these exact things. Let's say you have other things. Well, pay attention to the qualities that I said each thing had and substitute something, some herb that you do have that is good for that same quality. Like if you don't have lavender, use chamomile maybe, you know, be, be creative and pay attention to what the herbs are for. You can substitute a, an herb that is for the same thing. It will work. You don't need to use these exact herbs. I just showed you what I ground and put into my protection powder. You know, and I, I ground these up in my mortar and pestle in fairly equal amounts. And let me tell you, it's helping. Knock wood, it's helping. So try this out. Let me know if it's helping you at all, if it takes the edge off like it's been doing for me. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, whatever, please share them in the comment box. I will try to address them as best as I can. That said, I'm going to wrap up this video now because I have to get going, but blessed be an ashe. Keep fighting the good fight. This retrograde will pass. <laughs>